Hello, and welcome back to this edition of Daily Actions brought to you by Bootleg Macro. I'm Dustin, and wow, was I wrong. I was completely wrong. My assessment of Neo yesterday was that that might have been the beginning of the bottom, so I don't even trust my own analysis. <laughs> look at this right now. Now we look at the price being down at $10.67 after being at 10 or eleven fifty just the day before. Yike, hers. What a Friday. I'm sorry for people. Feels tough. Feels rough. Hopefully you have a great weekend because we look, the one thing that's really interesting is that volume didn't even increase over the previous day. Yesterday at 73 million shares. Today at 68 million shares. This wasn't even an abnormal day. I don't know if there's a cat. I mean, there clearly wasn't a catalyst. This is just the way the market broke today. So this could be a buying opportunity maybe. I'm not sure. But it looks like if you see... It was down 7.22% over one day. It's down 17 plus percent over five days and down 27% over 15 days. Yike, errs. We're looking at the signals. We've got a uh, go short on the short term and intermediate term. There's still no signal on the longer term. The trend indicator is showing that we are bearish in the short term and the intermediate term still bullish on the long term. Still good to see. The, uh, the overall rolling sentiment right now isn't a falling bear. It looks like we've seen some positive kind of changes here on the two-day rolling sentiment. We don't see the exact same things necessarily on a five-day just yet or on the 10-day, but it does look like, I mean, the unfortunate part is if you look at the 10-day rolling sentiment just on general here, today we're at 44%, on Monday we're going to be at 37%. That's the type of move that you've seen. The type of negativity that we've seen in NEO just in one day, I mean, I'm kind of shocked because the volume wasn't there. You can see the chart is just completely collapsed from whatever this level was. It hit a high of 16.18. It hit a low that day of 14.70. And now we are at a point where we're opening. I mean, you're opening, you're gapping down, and then still losing price. Do you realize, like, that's that's tough. That's, like, really tough from a bullish perspective. You, that's hard to see. You don't even like you don't even like to acknowledge that that's real because your stop should have gotten you out, like, up here. And if you watched my video from yesterday, I definitely already covered the idea of where your stop should have been. But when we look at the overall like sentiment, the sentiment completely rose because yesterday was a decent day. And then we're still seeing a little bit of rising sentiment, even with the move that we saw, because I mean, I guess it just is confusing price action for the way the algorithm was set up. But it does look like this 15 day moving average is curving down. So we're going to expect a little bit more downward movement in the price, especially in the daily. The overall volume, again, the volume isn't breaking out with the price movements being so extreme, but I guess if you want to still be bullish, that's actually a really good thing to see because it means that the volume is not supporting the downward moves, which means that bulls will eventually return in numbers and in strength and start to propel the price higher to highs that have never been seen before in the NEO stock. But that is not today. So when we look at the overall, like the way that the volatility is looking here, it is rolling over. The correlation is rolling over. You would actually expect that the price would be going downward or uh, sideways to up. That's not happening in NEO. It looks like the weekly is probably taking over. The bottom of the range, these, these things are kind of positive here. These things are slightly positive. The bottom of the range is at 923. The top of the range is at 1706. Right now, we're at 1067. I mean, if you want to do risk reward, bud, I mean, put your stop there, put your profit target there, just let her go. If you got time, this thing could definitely take you to the new heights. But right now, it doesn't look like you want to trust it. But again, there, were, there probably is a brighter future ahead. I have a I have a strong belief that the fall is going to be actually very bullish because the way that the VIX is setting up and the way that the market is actually setting up right now because people are incredibly bearish and this is the type of setup you want longer term. It's what people have been fighting all of 2023. So let's just get a little bit more and squeeze them into 2024 and then dump, I guess. But this is a NEO setup that is very interesting to watch. It's something that is definitely something you want to monitor and for now, we need to see something positive from the actual price action. We don't see the things that are positive yet, and once we do, we'll go long. But tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you long? Are you short? Do you like it? Do you love it? Is this even a good review? And before you go, subscribe to the New High Newsletter. We give you 25 stocks breaking out to your inbox every single Sunday. Breaking out to new highs, 52-week highs. We even give you a list of stocks breaking out between $5 and $20 just to make it even easier on you. And before you go, since you're already here, I do want to show you something. This is the Swift trading um, JavaScript component that we're building here at Bootleg Macro. We're really excited about it. One of the things that it's going to do is actually show you the components of the S&P 500 and if they flipped bullish or bearish on the intermediate term or longer term. You can see here if these tiles are red, that means they flipped bearish. Yesterday was an ugly day. It has not updated yet today. And the day before, which was Thursday, you can see there was a couple of stocks that flipped bullish, but it was just a sea of red. Now, this is something that we are very excited about. We're going to have a link in the uh, description below. You can just sign up. It's a special uh, inbox that will be specifically just for folks who are interested in this JavaScript component. But I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.